everyone and welcome to my video on the review for the KT Hamster Potty. Um, I bought this hamster potty from uh, Petco.com. I ordered it online um, and I believe it was on sale and I think it was around $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. I'm not too sure right now since I did order it a while ago. Um, now this hamster potty, it says that it is, let's see if it focuses here. Well, I don't think it's going to focus. But pretty much it says, um, for potty training, your pet, pet safe and non-toxic, fits any cage, keeps pets cage clean for hamsters, gerbils, or other small animals. Um, and... I will say that um, it does fit Marlin at the moment um, because Marlin is only still a baby. Um, I believe he is around maybe three to four months old and still fits him quite well, but I don't know if it'll fit him when he grows up. Um, but anyways, so. It says that it brings these three items, and I will show you these three items right now. Okay. And now, I ordered mine, and I received in the blue and the yellow color. And this product, as you could see, comparing it like to my hand here, um, it's not very big. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like a tube for them, really, like... You know, it's not something that they could, like, stand up in or anything like that. Um, but this product does bring, of course, the little potty. It brings this little scoop, which is really cute. It has a little hamster face on it. And it says it's, like, to scoop the potty out, but, meh, it's not that great at scooping the potty out. I wouldn't really use it, to be honest. Um, but it's cute, which, you know, is always a plus. And then it comes with this little bag, which now I have empty, but um, it was full of this um, like litter, litter material. And I'll just grab some to show you. Um, there you have it. It's like these little balls like that. Um, and I will say that it's good because it does not clump at all. I mean, if you guys could see in there, like there's a whole bunch. And none of them are clumped up or anything like that, which is good because, you know, that's very important when you have it in um, a cage for a hamster. I will say that hamsters, well, at least Marlin, I mean, maybe other people it's different, but they do not really use this as a potty. Um, I've never seen Marlin pee in it. Um, he, I mean, I'm touching it right now and it's completely dry. It's just, to him, it's like a little, little tiny, like, sand bath, pretty much. And a little tube, like a toy. Um, he likes to go in and out of it a lot because it does have the two holes on either side of it. And he likes to go in and out and just climb on top of it. And it's like fun for him and he likes to take a little sand bath in there because it's a little, you know, a little sandy. Um, but I don't really see, kind of, to be completely honest, a hamster using this as a potty. Um, I just think it's too little. I don't think that, like, hamsters pee crap. I don't know. Like, I feel like hamsters need more space in order to pee. And this is definitely not good enough space for a Syrian to just set up and pee in. I mean, maybe for a dwarf it might be good. Like, a good little potty for them. But I do keep this in Marlin's cage because he does like it for a sand bath, like I said in my previous video. But also because... Um, it's just fun for him. He likes to go in and out of it. He likes to sit on the top of it. And he likes to just chill in there. I mean, he's even fallen asleep in there a few times before, <laughs> which is quite cute. Um, but, like I said, it's an okay product. I don't know if I would have bought it, if I would have known that it was this little. Um, but I don't regret buying it. I mean, Marlon loves it. It's just something that I think as Marlon grows a little bit older, I don't think that I'll be able to maintain his cage because I'm afraid he might get stuck in these holes. Although they are kind of big. Um, you know, I feel like he could go in and out of them. But I don't know, like, if when he's older he'll be comfortable just sitting in there because his, like, little head might be stuck in the top or something. I don't know. But, I mean, overall it's a cute product. I 
would buy it if you like want something for your hamster to like go in and out of maybe even take like a little sand bath in um, but I don't think it really works as a potty maybe it's just like the litter in it that's not very good the only thing about this litter is that when it does get wet um, it has like uh, I don't know if I could find one but it has this like material or oh, I can't really find one well, anyways, when it does get wet, it turns um, blue. See, you see right there, those blue little balls. Um, it turns blue, um, but again, like, those little balls are too tiny to be pee. It's probably just, like, Marlin after he drinks water and he goes in here, then he's a little bit wet or something, and that's pretty much what it could be. I would recommend it if you want it, like, a little sand bath or for a dwarf hamster, or if you just want, like, a little toy to go in and out of. Um, but again... It's cute, it's little, um, and this little scoop could be used for different things, maybe for like spot cleaning or something like that. But yeah, so I would say this one gets a around 3 out of 5 stars, which is not bad. And well, I don't, I'm not saying don't buy the products, you know, of course you could do whatever you want um, and try it for your hamster. but. Just saying, if you have a Syrian, maybe be a little bit careful. Syrian is a little, um, I mean, Marlin is a little bit on the smaller side than, like, other Syrians that I've seen. So maybe your hamster might not fit through it. Maybe he will. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video suggestions I love reading comments and I love seeing your opinions and your thoughts and what you guys want to see in some videos so you all have a great day and see you soon bye bye